We just took a look at targeted and almost targeted resumes. We alluded to what we call functional or chronological or combinations. Let's take a look at each of those now. What is the purpose that they could possibly serve? If you're using a chronological resume, it will then emphasize the dates of service. Many employers that what they're looking for is that they're looking for longevity on doing a particular job. You've got to be able to show them. If you're using the chronological resume, be sure and list your most recent employment at the top, followed by the second, and then if you have a third or a fourth, list those. Ensure that what you're listing in there in chronological as you're showing that you worked for Acme Corporation as a whatever it may be, that you list the skill sets of what it is that the employer is looking for in the job description that he's given to you. Once again, remember on chronological resumes, four months or more shows a gap. Be sure and fill that gap. The other type we look at is functional resumes. Where a functional resume is that it shows that you have done different types of jobs. As you're working with a functional resume, ensure that the position that you have at the top is exactly the kind of position that you're applying for. The next job that you have is that then you show the same kind of thing, where there should be an upward progression. Under each of those job titles that you have in functional, ensure that you show that you have done this position with this company with this desired result. Remember, a challenge, an action, and a result. What have you done for me lately? We talked of combination resumes. What is a combination resume? A combination resume is one of them that can take functions or portions of each of the different types of resumes and that you use those. The commonality that's there is that you have your name your contact information, and what your objective is at the very top. The next item that's listed, it may either be a summary of your qualifications, it may be a chronological order of where you have been, or it may be the functions of showing the different types of jobs that you have. But always remember, it's the top half of your first page of your resume is the most important part. It's the part that's got to grab that employer to where that they can say, this person wants me to know who they are. This person wants me to know that this is how I can contact them and this is their objective. Many employers that we see that they hire outside contractors, that these contractors may be doing resume searches and that they may be doing hiring for more than one company for more than one position. If you list that information at the top of your resume, then it will allow the contractor or the subcontractor to be able to put your resume at the top. Think of it like this. Big stack bad, little stack good. Mmm, very hot. You've got to let them know the whole idea is to get into the little stack because there may be thousands and thousands of people that are applying, thousands of candidates. You want to be able to show that employer that you are the one that can do that job.